Snastruck. Thanks to Flappy Cat for requesting this one. I'm changing up my format a bit so I can get to these requests a little faster. The request is for Boogerman, a pick and flick adventure, and I'm not even sure where to start with this one. When writing this review, I always ended up staring at a blank document for about 15 minutes before just giving up. Granted, that happens pretty often, but this one's tougher to write about in a different way. Here's the thing, this is a pretty good game if you just stick to the nuts and bolts of the design and the gameplay. Boogerman controls very simply and intuitively. If you've ever played a platformer before, then you'll get the hang of Boogerman very quickly. There's six levels here, featuring between three to five stages in each, so there's quite a bit here to sink your teeth into. This game is reminiscent of something like Earthworm Jim, not just in the visual style obviously, but in the level layout as well, with huge levels, some of which you have to climb all the way to the top of a huge landscape. So yeah, this is more of a pure platformer than an action game. The end of each stage has you solve a puzzle, which is usually pretty simple, but it at least adds a little bit of variety to the gameplay. The boss fights here are also straightforward. Figure out the pattern, dodge, and attack accordingly. The game's biggest strengths, as you can see for yourself, are in the sprite animations. I mean, they really look freaking cool. My favorite is the death animation, where Boogerman just melts away. I also like how your life bar is in the color of your cape. It kind of reminds me of Doremi Fantasy. There, that wasn't so bad. Why was that so difficult to write? Well, because the game is predicated on some pretty gross, disgusting shit. Your projectile attack is flinging boogers at enemies, with your close range attacks being a belch or a fart. Even Boogerman's idle animations are friggin' gross as hell. I mean, come on. That's the thing. It's one thing for a game to have a theme, and that's cool. But this game's theme is so in your face, it doesn't matter how well the game plays or what the level design or puzzles or boss fights are like. You never forget for a second that you're playing a video game about boogers and farting. Well, the game is called Boogerman, so I guess I wasn't exactly expecting the premise to be a guy pondering Jean-Paul Sartre's ideas of existentialism or anything like that. It's just, like I said, this game's theme just never lets up. It's in your face the entire time you're playing, and it gets kinda tiresome. If I were still 10 years old, that'd be another story, but since I'm 35, it gets old pretty quickly. A couple more things to point out here, I gotta mention that this game is single player only with no battery save, only a password system. And I also have to point out that this game was originally released for Sega Genesis and received a Super Nintendo port a year later. I do have to say I think this game is better experienced on the Genesis. The Burgerman character handles a bit smoother and the music seriously sounds awesome. Evidently, the folks at Nintendo agree with that assessment because they put the Genesis version on the Wii Virtual Console. Anyway, yeah, Boogerman is a tough one to say if I want to recommend or not. If you can get past the omnipresent juvenile subject matter, which is a tall order, then yeah, you'll like this game. There is a lot to like here, the sprite animations are fantastic, and the music is great. And ultimately, if you want to play Boogerman, you'd be better off playing it on Sega Genesis over the Super Nintendo. If you want to get the cartridge, it's something like 50 bucks on the SNES, and only $15 on Sega. I guess, so that's another easy decision. So yeah, Boogerman is a decent enough game, but its mileage all depends on how patient you are with the subject matter. If you have an inner 10 year old that can still dig this kind of humor, then yeah, go check it out.